News of an unprecedented measles outbreak is rattling the D.C. community tonight. One local rabbi is taking action to protect his congregation. Inez de la Quatara has the story. It's so against what we believe as Jews. It's just uh, it's a little bit heartbreaking. The news sending shockwaves through the Orthodox Jewish community in D.C. People are genuinely worried. 285 cases of measles confirmed in Brooklyn's ultra-Orthodox areas. Officials say it's because some religious leaders are cautioning against the vaccine. It's against my personal religious belief. I cannot agree to a systematic way of just altering the immune system and testifying to God's imperfection. All of it is leading this rabbi at Kesher Israel in Georgetown to take action, sending out this letter to his congregants, warning them that any child or adult who isn't vaccinated won't be allowed to join services. It really began because somebody in the congregation came to us and said, hey, this is happening in other places. I have a little kid. I'm worried about my own children. He says getting vaccinated is in accordance with Jewish law. You're not allowed to endanger yourself not allowed to endanger others. Now, the first confirmed case of measles in Maryland was reported last Tuesday in Pikesville, and for many here, that hits a little too close to home. They come downtown for vacation to Washington, and uh, they want a place to pray, and so thousands of them come every year to Kesher Israel. During the Passover holiday, we anticipate four or 500 people. And while he won't be able to check if people have gotten their vaccines. Well, we can't really check, um, so all we can do is put up signs. He says he had to do something. As a rabbi, I want to make a statement because I feel like something is being done against Judaism. Telling people not to vaccinate is against Jewish law. Fulfilling his role as rabbi to guide his congregants in the right direction. In Washington, Inez de la Quatera, WUSA 9. The rabbi says other synagogues in the DMV and around the country may soon follow suit to protect their congregations.